so, so, so Dale, tell me the art of making a sandwich. Well, first you need bread. Okay. Preferably the square kind. Yeah, there square is. Kind. Because squares are the best shape of it. Okay. Okay. Then you need peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Right now I'm eating the gif or jif. <laughs> uh, product placement. Sorry. Or, uh, product placement. Oh shit. It's extra crunchy, is what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Now. This is the secret, though, is after you spread the peanut butter, you don't want to you know, waste your fork or anything like uh, uh, your butter. Right? So you take the other piece of bread and you will cry it. Oh, my it's goodness. It's almost like a cleaning slash oh non-wasting method. Brand new. Look at that. Now, this is an advanced technique for those of you that are just new to the very kitchen. Advanced. Now, very advanced. Now, we want to use jelly, not jam, because jam is for hams. And... We're going to go ahead and chop up a little bit of jelly so it's easy to smooth out. And then we're just going to lay it in here. You want uh, a good amount in there. I noticed you're just eyeballing it. Again, this is yeah. an advanced technique. Very advanced. You want to eyeball. You want that amount. I don't know the exact measurement, uh, but that. We're going to about half a cup. We're going about half a cup. Yeah. Really. And then you're going to chop it because, <laughs> because the jelly is, is very difficult to spread. You want to do this last, okay? If you're noticing when he chops it there, it actually breaks up the jelly, makes it doesn't congeal to itself. It's it's wonderful. Yeah, you want to get jelly everywhere. Now the goal is to get it on the edges. You want to build a barrier around the side. What happens if you just leave the glob of jelly in the middle? It tastes like shit, Jonathan. It really tastes awful. Because it's like, wow, this is peanut butter bread. Peanut butter bread. Jelly! Peanut butter bread. Peanut butter bread. And nobody likes just peanut butter and bread. It's called a peanut butter and jelly for a reason, okay? Mm. If so, you notice now, we're going to zoom in real quick. This is actually, see, look at that. It's a good even spread on there. Even spread. Make sure the sides are all covered, except you don't want anything on the crust because then your, your little fingers are going to get sticky. So we're going to clean that up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Tagging. Wipe it. Finish the white. Same thing. Oh, jelly on the other side. Now, now question for you. Question for you. Yep. Question for The flip. Does the peanut butter go on top or the jelly? Woo! This is a very difficult decision, Jonathan, and I'm going to have to say peanut butter first because it's more sticky. So we line up the edges and oh, then we just oh, the, the crucial flip fold on, on over. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh wow. that was like a 9.0 flip. If you see flip. No jelly or, or, or peanut butter. Oh, we got a little bit on the side. But that's oh. what makes it look delicious. Yeah, it's, it's all about textures. There it is. And look at that a complete sandwich. This is cooking in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just warm up your food like that.